Hey guys, what is going on? Let me know if you can hear me. We got Brantley2 in the chat. What's going on, buddy? Can you hear me okay? Okay, awesome. Looks like Brantley can hear me. How's it going, buddy? It's Monday afternoon. I wasn't able to stream on the weekend, so I thought I would... Um, I have a bit of time right now, so I thought maybe I'd go do an online bass tournament. See how we do. Alright, so let's see what we're going to be bringing. Probably the stuff that... Let's get two top waters going. One of these frogs. This is my setup I like for bass lately. Two top water lures. And then something like a warm. Oh, uh, let's try the milk money. Four and a half inch. If not, then maybe we'll go back and uh, try some of those yum dingers. Jordan Collins, what's going on, buddy? All right, so we got a couple people here. Might as well just get started. We're gonna go ahead and do the big bass tour. Looks like we're in Lake Dillon. I am not familiar at all with uh, Lake Dillon. Just because, uh, oh, what's going on here? Made all my attempts. That's, that's not right. Huh. That's really weird. First of all, it's, it still says that I have an attempt there. And I only played this once today. I think that's a, must be a common glitch in Steam. Kind of annoying though. Especially since I only played it once and you were supposed to get three tries. I'm doing good, uh, Jordan. I'm doing good, yeah. Alright, let's see what the... Lago del Mundo for Predators. Uh, let's see. I've never, I haven't really played that that much, but we could try that. What do you guys want me to do? Catch a shark? I don't think you can catch a shark in this game, buddy. So weird, you've made all your attempts. It's so strange. Alright, um Let's see here. What about the carp one? Talon Fishery. Don't know that one either. Huh. What's the match tournament? Lake Boulder. Yeah, I have been fishing in real life, Brantley. I've been catching some really nice brook trout and um, getting some little ones, but also some nice ones that I've been cooking up and eating. They're delicious, man. <laughs> you know what? Maybe I'll go to this match series and just see if we can get a bunch of predators. Yeah, we'll do that.
We'll target bass, but this will be good because usually when I'm targeting bass, I get lots of species here. So we'll see how we do here. I don't usually do the match play, so it'll be a bit different. So we're going to go to off Bob's Marina. And then uh, we're just going to go up the shore to those little tiny inlets that are there. See how we do there. So we need to get 66 fish in 59 minutes. Wow. I don't know if we can do that, but uh, we can try. Oh, this is my spot right here. Let's see if there's any fish here today. I should probably change my setup to maybe 30 pound line, but we'll see. We'll fish this area, see if we can catch some fish. See if there are any here. But I got the black plate again. see a fish there not sure what that is looks pretty small might be a small bass oh all right we got we got some movement here in the water finally and boom all right we got our first fish it's a bass Jordan is gonna go to Guntersville good luck buddy um let me know how you do. Alright, so we got our first fish. It'd be cool to catch a bunch of these little ones. Because we need to get 67 fish. <laughs> I should change the title of the live stream, but I don't know why it didn't let me play the bass tournament. That's really weird, really annoying. And boom, looks like we got ourselves a trout. Oh, he's a jumpy guy. Do you make your own fishing rods, Brantley? How do you do that? What do you use? What kind of material? Hey, uh, Jordan, you can only go to Lake Jordan if you own the DLC or sometimes you can play if it's online tournaments you can go but you have to own the DLC that's not part of the game beautiful little trout well it's not little actually but all right we got two fish let's keep going with this reflex buzz bait let's see if we can catch some more Oh man, there's a massive pike swimming down there. Some ma massive pike. Yeah, this live stream was definitely not planned. I just have a bit of extra time today. And I figured uh, I couldn't do one on the weekend, so why not? What do you mean a predator take for cats? Do 
Jordan, I don't understand the question. Oh, that sounds really cool, Brantley. Making your own fishing rod? That's pretty awesome. I wish I could do that. It's a nice bass we got here. He's a fighter. Wow, 11 pounder. Dang. Nice fish. If only we were doing a bass tournament. Oh, uh, Jordan, so you have to just equip uh, a number two hook. I literally, my last video was on that. On exactly how to do that. So check out the channel. Basically, all you have to do, buddy, is you have to buy a number two hook. Oh, no. I had a fish on the line, and I canceled the cast. But, yeah, buddy, just go on. Buy it. you got to equip a number two hook, and then uh, the cut bait will show up. Yeah, buddy, you just have to equip a, a number two hook and then it shows up. Nice. Nice little tro trophy smallmouth bass. Beautiful. I'm just going to keep rocking this, this lure because... It's just uh, getting me fish after fish, so why change it? But as soon as stuff's working, I'll try something new. Oh, got a tiny little crappy going for it. And nothing. All right, let's try it a bit closer to this side. Alright, we got a little guy. We had a poor strike, but he's little. I'm loving these uh, little bass for this because we are doing a match play, not an online tournament. Um, no, I don't know overly fishing. Is that... No, I'm not familiar with that, Jordan. My favorite fish... Uh... In the game, you mean, Brantley, or just in general? Like to eat? Is that what you mean? Because I was talking about eating fish earlier. Boom. Got another bass, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I probably like fishing for for predators, the bass bass. I was having fun trying to look for, for trout specifically and salmon specifically at one point. But yeah, I do like predator fishing. Probably is my favorite, trying to find big muskies, things like that. Um and as far 
My favorite fish to catch and eat is definitely brook trout. Siron trout, I think is the best. Of the brook variety. And then, um, I love salmon, man. And I love cod, fresh cod, right out of the ocean. Those are probably my three favorite. Trout, salmon, and cod. What about you, Brantley? Do you watch Flare? No, I do not watch Flare, Jordan. What is the Overly Gaming Project? What is that? Nice. Nice little northern pike. Getting a lot of movement from the spot today. It's awesome. I wonder if this lure is starting to get fished out. Oh, mahi mahi. Is that like a like a tuna? Oh no, I no, I I don't Jordan, uh, I don't really watch uh too many other channels like that. Just because I just don't have time. It's just uh, tough. It's pretty tough with um, with work and making videos and the live streams and just fishing around looking for spots. But I used to watch uh, Wobbly Captain, but I haven't watched him in like a year. And I used to watch Hawkeye, but again, I haven't watched those two guys in like a year. But yeah, I just can't, it's just hard because I don't have, uh, because I'm actually trying to play the game to make videos myself. It just takes a lot of time and there's a lot of other stuff I have to be doing, so. But yeah, those two guys, uh, is who I was watching that I, that I, I can think of. I think I watch a bit of Matt Plays Games too. Alright, I think this lure's fished out. Let's try the, f the leopard frog. And then I might actually head out to uh, Lily's Bay there. Just because we are doing match play, not an online tournament game wouldn't let me do an online tournament for some reason guys if you're just joining so I'm doing match play in Lake Boulder and this spot is kind of dying on me so we'll see I'm gonna try this lure for two more casts and then I'm gonna switch to the warm and let's see if we catch anything with that. The fish are there, or they just stopped biting. Nice, we got something there. Another bass. Ooh, he came fast. Oh, we got a little a black crappy. Nice. Those are awesome. Those are easy to bring in, so. Yeah, I've never tried uh, catfish. At least I don't think I have. Maybe I did when I went to Louisiana. I had all sorts of stuff when I was down there. There's some big bass swimming there, but I don't care about big bass right now. I want little bass.
All right, I'm gonna kill this lure. Well, not kill it, but change it when uh, if I don't catch another bite here. No, I've never been to Alaska, but I'd love to go, man. I was watching some uh, Meat Eater. That show. I was watching some of that show, and like, there's an episode where they go hunting and fishing in Alaska. Awesome, looks like a lot of fun. Caught a beautiful bass here. He's big. Don't want to lose him. I would love to go to Alaska. Only thing is, I guess, grizzly bears are kind of... <laughs> are kind of sketchy, man. Nice. Trophy. Eight pounder. Beautiful. Alright, well, that lure is still converting, so let's do a couple more casts with it. Then we'll switch to the warm, and then I think I'm going to switch spots. Yes, I've been to North Carolina. I have been there, yes. Is that... Is that where Myrtle Beach is? Because I've been to Myrtle Beach. But I think I went to South and North Carolina on that trip. I remember eating hush puppies when I was there. That was pretty good. <laughs> yeah, catch. Nice. We got another bass here. He's decent size too. Oh, okay. Yeah, when when I went to to Myrtle Beach, I went to both the both the Carolinas. But I didn't go fishing or anything when I was there. Nice. Man, some nice trophy bass here. All right, let's switch to the warm to see if we catch anything different. See if I can get a. Uh, see if I can actually get a twitch going. But yeah, they're not really going for the sinker as much so far. And boom, got ourselves a poor strike. What is it though? A decent sized bass, I think. Or no, that's a walleye, I think. Yeah, that's a walleye. Brandley 2, I'd have to say probably Christmas, for sure.
What about you, buddy? Whoa, that's a beautiful walleye. Gunner Horn, no, you don't have to buy uh, Gigantica. All right, let's get out of here. Welcome, Gunner Horn. Welcome, Landon Wilbers. So we're doing match play in Lake Boulder because the game wouldn't let me do another attempt at the online bass tournament on Lake Dillon. So here we are. I'm just going to head up the shore here. Probably should have just stayed in that spot to not waste time. I don't know how Faka... Faka Devat David caught 66 fish in one hour. That's crazy. We got Shadow joining us as well. What's going on, Shadow? See if we can catch some some fish along this wall here. There might be some salmon here. We'll see. What do I got on the line? All right, let's just see if we can get a visual with the buzz with the black plague, and then maybe I don't know. I guess the way to win this match play is to just go target little fish and pull them one out after the other. Just want to see if we can get some different species here. No problem, Gunner, Gunner Horn, anytime, buddy. There is another, there is a Gigantica Road Lake. That's the one you have to buy, but Lake Gigantica, you don't have to buy. We got Hunter in the chat. What's going on, Hunter? All right, we got something. Let's see what it is. I don't think it's a bass. I bet it's a salmon. Yeah, I knew it. I knew that this wall had salmon, guys. If you guys are looking for salmon on Lake Boulder, this is a good spot for them right here. Beautiful, beautiful uh, coho, I believe. I should probably have my 30 pound line on for this, to be honest. See if I can bring him in a little quicker. I have not watched the, the Outer Banks. Nice, beautiful fish. All right, let's go for another salmon. Let's see if we get one. I don't know how this guy caught 66 fish. That's crazy. Is Outer Banks a fishing show, Brantley? Yeah, there's some more salmon down there. Let's see if we can get another one. And then I'll move up. Lily Bay is a great spot. Caught a bunch of muskies there. Trout, salmon, bass. It's a good multi-species. Oh, okay. Yeah, no. I, um, what's it about, Brandley? Let me know. Maybe, maybe I'll go check it out. Oh, I just realized I've been retrieving at a three. Just fine. All right, we got a walleye now.
We got Siad Shand in the chat. What's going on, buddy? Thanks for uh, joining the stream. For you guys who are in the stream right now, I was going to try to do an online bass tournament, but uh, the game wouldn't let me do another entry. So we're in Lake Boulder doing some match play. So far, we've got 13 fish. We're way behind the only other person who's <laughs> who's on the leaderboard. Oh, there's a nice trout there. Oh, boom. This might be a pike or a chain pickerel, maybe? It's a little pike. Okay, is it like a fiction show or is it like a documentary or or reality or something like that? Ricky Hall, what's going on, buddy? My favorite lake, uh, Gunner Horn, is probably this one I really like for uh, this kind of fishing. And... Uh, I like Lake Miller as well. I like the, the lakes that have a lot of variety of specimens. And what's Siad Shan? You're from South Africa. Cool, man. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. You do a lot of fishing in South Africa, uh, Siad? If you guys do fishing in real life, uh, let me know there in the in the chat. I always like finding out what uh, the people hanging out if they like to fish in real life. Boom! I think this bass. I. Gunner Horn, I also really like uh, Laguna Ikitos, and I like uh, Gillem's Resort from the DLC, those are pretty fun. You catch some big monsters there. Hunter. You fish in real life a lot. What kind of what kind of what kind of fish do you fish for? Nice, we got some. All right, Ricky Hall. Oh, okay, Ricky. Yeah, I recognize you from the from the comments. Actually, you were saying you were having trouble, but. Uh... I'm glad that uh, the videos there, the old, the old, yeah, the old videos. They do a lot of carp fishing, especially. I haven't done much carp fishing lately. Um. All right, so Gunnerhorn likes to fish for catfish. All right, guys, I'm gonna move on here. Uh, just because uh, the spot was kind of dying, and I do want to get to Lily Bay. All right, uh, so let's see. Catfish is something I would love to fish for. I was watching this guy, this French guy, catching for catfish, and he was doing topwater lures. He was catching some crazy monsters the other day. Michigan Lake, like fishing planet. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good... I mean, I've never been there in real life, of course. But uh, I did play it in fishing planet. It was pretty fun. So Michigan, that's, is that, uh, is that a state that has the Great Lakes, Ricky? I'm trying to think of my geography here. <laughs> oh no, a poor strike, poor strike on a gar. Here we go, a little bit of variety. He shouldn't get away from me though, hopefully. All right, musky, bass, crappy, nice. Yeah, I used to live in Ontario where you 
I, I, I was able to fish for more, um, more things like that. But now where I live, I can only go for trout, salmon, and then sea, sea fishing, like cod. Cod, um, you got your flounder, things like that. People here go crabbing too, like... And uh, some people go squid jigging, so you get squid. But I haven't done any of that. I haven't actually gone out to the ocean this summer to go for cod yet, but I really want to. Hopefully I'll go in August. I don't have a boat, so it's kinda, you gotta wait for someone to invite you, or you gotta pay someone to take you out. But anyway, but yeah, I love eating the fresh fish. Hey Hunter, what's your biggest uh, muskie you've caught? Oh, we got a bass here. He's big. It's a nice looking bass. Yeah, nice. Yeah, I never, I never fished. I, I could have gone to Lake Erie and uh, Lake Ontario, but I never fished from those lakes either. You probably can't eat those fish, so I like catch and release, of course. But I also do like uh, eating the fish, especially when you're camping or something like that. Forty-eight inches. Wow, man. That's awesome. He must have been a monster. Alright. Smaller. That's a nice surprise, eh? <laughs> Actually, I was watching a video the other day of a guy that was uh, fishing for a pike using... Um, Using a duckling topwater lure. And uh, I thought that was pretty crazy. He caught a gigantic one. Alright, we got a... This pike, I might... I should probably change my setup, actually. We got Omni Black in the chat. What's going on, buddy? Hey, uh, Gunner Horn. My biggest catfish in the game is uh, Curiosity out in Waldsey. And he's, I think, 90 pounds. I think he's 92 pounds. I got a video catching him, but it has no commentary. It's just uh, the video capture. Bear Lake, nice. Yeah, so I'm gonna bring in this pike, just cause I wanna look look at him. I don't think we're gonna catch up to uh, David there. I don't know how to say that name. Uh, Faisa Devi. I have a feeling it's like Italian or something. Nice. Beautiful northern pike. A little trophy catch. Alright, let me get this going here. Let's pop this gold frog on. And we'll get this shad going. Oh. Oh, what did I just do there? 
I didn't select it. There we go. Alright, let's try the ocean breeze here. Catfish and carp, Ricky? Yes. Yes, I've heard of them. I've never been carp or... Well, that's a lie. One time I did catch a catfish, a small catfish in, in Ontario. But they're just little, little guys. Would love to go carp fishing though, or catfishing for the big guys. That would be cool. Brantley2 is asking how long I started YouTube. I, it was in April of last year, Brantley. When I was stuck at home during the pandemic. When the pandemic started. Oh, Catfish and Carp, that's uh, like a channel you mean. Oh, okay, cool. No, I never heard of them. Maybe I'll go check it out. Alright, this bait is doing nothing. Let's switch it back out to this one here. Be happy if I can get 30, 30 fish. I don't know how this guy caught 66 fish. That's a fish a minute. It's more than a fish a minute. Boom. This looks like a trout. It's a nice rainbow. Hey, Brantley. Yeah, thanks, man. I, I didn't... I just did it kind of like a... Uh, as a side thing just for fun and then next thing you know it uh, started getting some comments started getting some a lot of views then I had to take a I took like six months off the channel actually um, just because I had some personal stuff I had to do some traveling some family stuff and I just wasn't with my computer I wasn't able to play so I can upload videos and uh, yeah Started up again uh, in April of this year, or was it May? No, it was May. And then, yeah, started live streaming. It's been a lot of fun. Cheater, lol. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, no, not yet, man. Um, no Porthos yet. Whoa, what the heck was that, man? Did you guys see that? That guy did a weird vertical jump, and I couldn't, I couldn't set the hook on right. It's the Shinnok Salmon right here. No, Hunter, I haven't been able to catch Porthos yet. Uh, I'm definitely trying. It's definitely a goal of mine to be able to get him on video. I haven't seen anyone catch him on video yet. Uh, and Musaka, one of the, my subscribers, he's a really good guy. Uh, he usually hangs out on streams. He knows a lot about this game and a lot about fishing in real life. And he's caught him. He's got a forum post about it on the Dovetail Live uh, forums. So anyway, I've been trying to follow his tips to, to catch him, but no luck yet. Apparently, he's pretty tough to catch, man. Yeah, Omni Black, that's what I'm thinking you gotta you gotta do. You gotta you gotta just target uh, the bluegill and crappies in this lake. To get so many fish, just because uh, you don't spend time fighting them, right? But hey, I really wasn't planning on doing this, and I uh, just figured, hey, why not? It's just... Oh, Brantley, that's, that's cool, man. Yeah, you never know where life takes you, I guess. Um, but no, but it's... Oh, my. This is... Uh, I'm going to switch to a small frog here I got a gold frog here see if we can catch some uh, smaller specimens but yeah no I appreciate you, uh, you watching buddy I'm having a lot of fun uh, doing the live streams so far I'm thinking of getting a I don't have a webcam 
so that you got so I do that thing that people do where they put their face on one corner. But I don't own I usually use my laptop for things like Zoom and things like that. But my laptop cannot run this game and my actual computer I don't have a webcam. So I'm thinking if I hit 2,000 subs, I'm going to go get myself a webcam to do some streams with the webcam. Hey, Omni Black, do you know... Do you know what's how do you catch a uh, small fish? I guess uh, with the worms there you were talking about. I'd have to switch my setup completely though. Yeah, like usually when I do match play, I've never done match play in one of these lakes where you have the boat. Usually I'd do it. Um, I do it on lakes with pegs, and then I just target uh, bream and tench. With, with the smaller hooks and the carp bait. And I've done pretty well doing that, but... Hey, Gunner Horn, I don't... I don't use it just because uh, I just like fishing like this better, but... Uh, I was just thinking the other day that maybe I should start uh, trying that out and maybe make a video about it. But yeah, it's just something I've never done since uh, I started playing the game. So it's it's nothing personal, it's just... Ned Bomb? I don't know if I have a Ned Bomb. Is that in the DLC Omni Black? Oh, we got a nice brown trout. That's interesting. Nice. Man, I love the way those Chinook salmon jump just ver completely vertical out of the water. That's cool. Hey, uh, Ricky. So, uh, I just have a... Uh, what do I have? Let me just think here. <laughs> so, my CPU is a uh, Radeon 5. And uh, I just have uh, an NVIDIA video card, a Super 1600. Nothing fancy, man, nothing fancy. Just enough to get me gaming. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. Just because I don't have all the DLC for this game yet. But, I mean, that's the goal is to own it all eventually, but... Boom! Nice bass. Large mouth, three pounder. Yeah, switching to this frog is a good idea because it's smaller, so. Hopefully, we catch smaller fish with it. That head-on knocker, I don't know if you guys saw this gigantic, there's some, I made a video in this very spot, I caught some amazing muskies. Uh, so there's some big, big muskies there, for sure.
I've actually caught a lot of crappy using uh, frogs as well, like the Arbogast leopard frog and this frog, but uh, the green frog version. This lore's dying on me. Let's try this, just for the heck of it. And let's go back to the plague. Alright, so we got the deep wee crawfish. Let's see if we can get closer to these lily pads here. Nice. Oh, boom. And this is a bass. I got a ton of musky and catfish the first time I did it offline. Yeah, so were you in Lake Johnson or Lake Bowler? Probably that first run. Because that's the thing, sometimes, I, I did a whole video about how this lake can be pretty tough when you're doing bass, because all of a sudden you start getting walleye, pike, salmon, trout, anything but bass. But I think that's what makes it fun too, that this is a nice bass right here. One pound largemouth, nice man, that's a little guy, that's a little baby. <laughs> that's bait, bait fish. I don't think he's that big, but man, was he a fighter. Oh, he's got a belly on him. Six pounds. Yeah, that actually used to be in the in one of the menus here. here you could see where they were. But it's cool that they're showing you the, the baits to use. I gotta check that out. Trophy Fish Thursday. Alright, I'll check it out, man. Maybe that'll help me. I've been trying to go for Porthos. And uh, it'd be cool to get some more Trophy Fish for videos for sure. Alright, I might move spots for the last 10 minutes. That's another thing though, like if you want to beat the guy who's in number one, you probably just have to not move too much. Oh, there's a big catfish coming after this. Nice channel catfish. Yeah, you probably just want to fish the same area and target those tiny fish like bluegill and crappie, what Omni Black was saying there, for sure. All right. All right, time to move, time to move. I'm gonna go to this little cove here, see what's going on, what the action is like right here. Athos and Aramis. Okay, I haven't caught either one of those. Oh, just had a bit of lag on the I hope I'm still connected. Yeah, I think I'm still streaming. Oh, we got sea bass nuggets in the house. What's up, buddy? Day's going well. Went swimming today. Got a bunch of water up my nose, and uh, now I'm all congested. I don't know if you guys can hear that. <laughs> 
But yeah, I went swimming for almost uh, an hour and a half. Pretty fun. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, our, I think Athos and Aramis, they're on this lake, right? This is a cool looking trout. Let's bring him in, see what he looks like. Little brown trout. Have you caught, Hunter, have you caught uh, Athos and Aramis? I think they're all in the same area. Maybe after this is uh, over, I'll head on over back to Lake Boulder and I'll look for Porthos again. It would be super sweet to catch him on a stream. That'd be cool. Nice. Fifty thousand tackle points. Nice, buddy. That's gonna get you some way better equipment, which is what Ricky Hall is talking about. Most expensive bass rod or the longest. Yeah, I don't know. Like as you can see. So Ricky, it just depends kind of like on your fishing style, right? And where you are. So lately I've been just using um, the the casting that gets you like a medium distance. And I find I've been doing a lot of topwater lure fishing just to spot where the fish are. And I find that you don't need a lot of distance to do that as long as you're where the fish are. But you know, if you're fishing off the shore on a peg or something like that, like you're, if you're in Waltzy or Jesse or Obesti or Lago del Mundo or I Iquitos and you want to get more distance, then yeah, you need a longer rod. But with the boat, I just try to get up close to where I'm going. Yes, it can snow a lot where I am, Brantley, but uh, it doesn't all the time. It doesn't all the time. Yeah, and then I, I pick my rods just based on pretty much uh, just aesthetics, really. Something that looks good or something that feels good. Oh, there's a nice gar there. Let's see if he goes for this. It snowed in June where I am, Brantley, this year. We had a, a little snowfall. It didn't stick around much, though. It pretty much melted. See if I catch something cool with the gold frog. Alright, I'm going to do a bit of trolling here, see if uh, we catch anything. I'm also going to get a drink, so hopefully nothing gets on the line right now while I get my drink. <laughs> oh no. Oh, okay, I got him. Looks like we got a pike.
Uh, what time of the day would be best for Aramis? Honestly, uh, I'm not... It, it won't tell you that. I, I've had my best... Like, I caught Marshall when on sunrise. So... I'll, Look, the way I've been doing it with Porthos is that I fish about at sunrise or morning is where I've been told you can get them. So I assume it's the same for those, but what I would do is I would give it a, a shot for like half an hour at different times, see if it changes anything for you. Right? Uh, but I'm not exactly sure just because I haven't actually caught them, but... But yeah, no, it'd be super cool to catch all three of those in Lake Boulder. There's so many trophy fish and like, it's just like endless amount of videos we, I could do. And it'd be cool to catch all of them, but it's kind of, <laughs> takes a lot of time to go for those. That's a beautiful looking fish right there. All right, let's do that again. That was kind of fun, a little different. But yeah, I would try, I would start with sunrise and then uh, just fish for about half an hour and then try another half an hour, try morning, another half an hour, try night, another half an hour, try afternoon, just to see what, see if that helps at all. What what bait? I assume you looked at the at the at the dovetail live there the the trophy fish Thursdays. Did it tell you uh, what bait to use for Aramis? We got a fish that's like really interested in this, but just won't go for it. Probably a muskie or a pike. Oh. Bass going after it, but nothing. Oh, the big dog perch. That's how they get you with the DLC stuff. <laughs> yeah, no, man. I want to get... Uh, I want to get uh, all the DLCs, but just haven't been able to. I'm probably going to wait for the next sale and probably get the, top, the big lure pack. Alright, so have you ever watched Tide Pig Patrol? No, I have not. Is that another fishing channel on YouTube, Gunnerhorn? And my favorite topwater lure, I have to say, is uh, the... The Reflex Buzzbait Black Plague. Also love the Smithwick Devil Horse Frog. And I also like... Oh, for bass specifically, yeah. Hands down, Buzz Plague, Buzzbait uh, Black Plague, or the Bluegill, the Buzzbait. And then uh, the Arbogast... No, sorry, the, the Booyah... The Booyah Pad Crashers, the Leopard Frog, or the Albino Frog. Hey Brantley, since there's only like two minutes left, I just wanted to take a break and get a drink. <laughs> so I was just, uh... oh, in real life you mean. Um, yeah, I actually found this uh, sick little pond uh, in a creek that's been really good for trout and uh, so far there's I've seen people swimming but not a lot of people fishing it so I've been trying to go at at, uh, at n not night but you know d dusk or whatever and I've caught some nice ones hey Nolan what's going on buddy a uh, long time no see I haven't caught you in a, on a stream in a while and um, let's see here. Did that guy quit or leave or something? Who are you talking about? Are you talking about someone on the chat? 
All right, guys, so that was it for the match play. Like, Boulder, I think I'm gonna maybe go on a fishing trip. We're gonna go back to Boulder. And uh, we're gonna go back to Lake Boulder. We're gonna hit dynamic weather, sunrise. And we're gonna see if we can catch Porthos. Oh, yeah, Ricky. So I'm doing. Um, I, I was doing a. I was doing an online tournament. So that's just the guy that did the online tournament, and then he stopped playing. Like, it just happens with. Uh, like the way it works, you have a week to do the online tournament, and then your score gets logged on. So as more people do that tournament, I'm definitely gonna get kicked out of second place. And then yeah, you you you're not actually playing together at the same time. It's just whoever completes it, their their score gets logged on. Nolan's been busy, yeah man. I've been pretty busy too. I respect that. Oh, Hunter, I didn't know that Aramis was in the middle of the lake, at 164 foot depth. Wow, that's crazy. It's crazy, dude. Let's go see if we can catch Porthos, man. And let's see, I do have a lot of tackle boxes, but they're kind of all messy, man. I got to go back and maybe delete some and fix some up. I was trying this thing for when I was bass fishing where I would just, um, I, I would just, so you go to the bottom peg here for Porthos as far as I know. And, uh, but yeah, for bass fishing, I have a, a tackle box that's all top water lures and then one that's all sinkers. And then that way you can just switch a lot quicker between things without wasting time when you only have 20 minutes for a tournament or whatever. Uh, so that's just a tactic I was trying. But yeah, so I'm told that Porthos lives in this little alcove here. just by this rock here and I don't know man I haven't been able to get him apparently he's pretty hard he lo apparently he looks huge underwater but when you pull him out he's not even that big I think Porthos is basically like a meme <laughs> you know all right let's see what we got here 30 pound braid let's see if, uh... Uh, yeah, I guess I'm gonna use my this one. But what I'll do is I'm gonna switch to the 40 pound braid on all of them. Oh, did they actually take it off Game Pass? Oh, that sucks, man. That's how I discovered the game, guys. I was, um... Let's get this Fitzgerald Stunner going here. And I'm also gonna switch for the bigger... I think I got the 9-footer now, yeah. Let's get a bit more distance on this. Man, that's how I discovered the game on the... That's I, I discovered this game on Game Pass just because it was like a buck to try it or whatever. So during the pen when the pandemic started, I was like, "Yo, man, I'm just gonna get this Game Pass and just try a bunch of different games." And then I ended up really getting hooked on this game, and that's when I started making the videos. So that sucks that they took it off there, man. Uh, let's see what else are you guys saying in the chat. Uh, 40 pound bluegill. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty funny, Ricky, man. That would be a pretty wild. <laughs> All right, so Musaka told me that he got it with one of these head on knockers. So just gonna equip three of these bad boys. 
and see if we can get to see him. Oh, uh, Brantley, so for Trout, I actually have a video on the channel, man, um, where I go looking for Trout hotspots in Lake Miller, because Lake Miller has an offline tournament that's for Trout. So I have two videos, where one where I play the tournament and one where I'm just looking for spots, and uh, I think it's called Badgers something. It's like a, a narrow in the middle of the lake that connects like two large spots. And I ended up catching a ton of trout. Just go watch that video, man, just so you see wh what I'm, where I'm talking about. But what I was using was all the warms, like the Purple Flash, the Milk Money, the 48. I was getting a ton, ton of trout just using those. Hey Alex Suzumaki25, what's going on buddy? Thank you for joining the stream. And Nolan Strobeck says that he's been playing the catch a lot. Yeah, that's awesome, man. Again, I haven't uh, I haven't played the catch yet. Saw a lot of mixed reviews for it. Uh, apparently they're not uh, supporting the game anymore either, so people seem to be a little bit teed off about that. But uh, yeah, no, I've been just trying to focus the channel on this game and trying to catch some more bosses. Try to find more uh, fishing spots as well as doing more online tournaments, which is what I've been focusing my streaming efforts on. Alright, so we already got a big guy following the lure. I don't know if you guys saw that. But yeah, and uh, the, the trout will go for a lot of the smaller topwater baits as well but yeah try try the warms go to Lake Miller there's a lot of trout specific spots you can find on there I found two of them but the video it shows one uh, the catch buddy apparently I don't know if that for a fact that's just what I heard from people from subscribers who left comments or some people that uh, or some people that have joined the stream and talked about the catch and saying how they were upset that the devs weren't supporting the game anymore. I don't know if it's actually true. Alright, so we got a little bass here. Yeah, no, it looks like a lot of fun. Um, maybe, maybe, I'm thinking next time there's a Steam sale, I'll probably get it just because it'd be fun to... Uh, Maybe do some other fishing games on the for the channel. Anyway, you know, I never when I started this channel, I meant to do more different fishing games, but I just it kind of took off on the fishing sim world stuff, and that's just kind of what I what I focused on and what I'm still focused on right now. I did a couple of videos on fishing in Red Dead Redemption, but. <laughs> They didn't get a lot of views and uh, yeah so anyway I guess I could do Fishing Planet but the thing is I played like I played that game a lot a couple of years ago but it's just I find it so grindy and like I don't like microtransactions uh, so I just you know that's why I like this game a bit better you you do have to buy the DLC and you have to buy lure packs and everything but it's a bit different I think but yeah man the catch it's you know it's on the it's on the works they're releasing a game uh, bass master I think it's coming out in the fall I think it's supposed to be crossplay I'm not sure on that but uh, that might be something that um, is gonna be pretty fun to do for the channel as well All right, guys, just one second. Got to pause this for a second.
Hey guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. Oh. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, Nolan, you don't have, um... You saying you're trying to get this game, like, uh, Fishing Sim World? You don't have it? I thought you had it. Uh, Brantley, no, I don't mind at all, you asking me that. So, I just figured, like, um, when we go fishing, it's like, let's go fishing. And then Sim is for simulators, like, let's go fishing simulators, but... So, yeah, it's nothing too fancy, it's just, uh, like saying, yeah, let's go, f let's go fishing, let's go for a fish. <laughs> yeah, I did like 90 hours, 90 plus hours, I can't remember, on Fishing Planet. Oh, okay, so you just got like seasonal passes. Yeah, no, like Fishing Planet is fun, uh, don't get me wrong. Like, I, I did obviously like it if I put that much time into it. But, um, but yeah, I didn't know that they actually had released a game with uh, DLC for 23 bucks. That's pretty good. That's pretty cool. Are there any other. Oh, it's is it because N Nolan? Is it because you were playing it on Game Pass? Because I think once they take it off, even if you don't uninstall it, like you no longer have access to it. Yeah, buddy, I'm pretty sure that even if you hadn't deleted it, it you would have lost access to it. It's just something that they do with uh, X Xbox Game Pass there. So you only have access to the games that uh, you can. I, I think that's how it works anyway. That's what I heard. But I don't know if there's like a workaround around it. Like if you can, because I heard that the, the game files are encrypted or something like that. But I, I mean, I don't know how true true it is. Alright, so we got a pike here. Definitely not Porthos. I'm only going to bring in uh, the pike and muskies I got. Yeah, buddy. Do you, do you only play on uh, Xbox or do, do you have Steam? Yeah, Ricky, I'm not sure if he's able to, but but either way, he ended up on installing the game, so. Oh, okay, Xbox. Alright, I'll let that bass go. Hey Hunter, uh, I'm not exactly sure just because I've never gone for Aramis. I haven't looked too much into it. Uh, but what I would do if I were you is I would go to the, that spot where um, where where Dovetail told you that Aramis is, and then I would actually just cast 
the, a top water lure and see if you can get a visual on him. Because what I'm doing right now is I'm looking for Porthos. And he's a huge muskie that lives here. And I've never caught him, but I've definitely seen like a gigantic, gigantic shadow. Like a gigantic shadow on in the water. Like, see that shadow that was just there? Like, three times the size of that. And it's like, okay, that's a trophy. That's like, that's a monster. But anyway, I'm not, I'm not entirely sure just because uh, I've never looked for Aramis. But, you know, you, you could try a top water lore and just see if he's there. Or, other than that, um, just take a look at your fish finder. And just uh, see if there's like a lot of big fish that are swimming. Like see right now this fish finder is showing some massive fish that are swimming uh, just about the, the middle of the lake of the depth. So how deep is this lake is an example. So this lake is 40 foot deep and there's some massive fish I've seen on the fish finder that are about 20 feet. So you could ch check your fish finder and just see where the big fish are popping up. You guys see that shadow there? I don't think that's him, but see how there's a big shadow coming after the lure? There's two actually. So we're, I'm going to do two more casts with this one, guys. And then... Uh, yeah, so what I would do is... Uh, if you if you get that one big fish and it kind of like you know that it's there and then you can go with the with the sinking lure and then try to fish at the, at the depth that you see the see how you see some big fish in my fish finder right now so you try to fish at that depth so right now I would fish probably like f between 15 feet and 20 feet Man, that's another thing I have to do. I actually have to... I'm getting a community page together. But I was looking into doing it on Facebook or Discord. It seems like most of you guys want to do Discord. So I have to set that up still. But anyway, uh, what kind of music do I like? Hey, Brantley. So I like... Uh, I like a lot of music, man. I'm actually a classically trained guitarist. I spent a lot of years playing classical guitar. So I love classical music, but uh, I also grew up on rock and roll and alternative music and uh, got into blues and jazz and just basically anything that features the guitar heavily is something that I like. So I even, I was into heavy metal at one point. Anything with guitar on it, man, I love. <laughs> hey, uh, we got... Tyler in the house. What's going on, buddy? Yes, I am going to be streaming tomorrow as well. I'm not exactly sure what I'll be doing. Oh, we got a big one here. No, he's not that big. Never mind. But yes, the, the goal is to stream tomorrow. Uh, I just uh, had some free time today. I wasn't able to get a stream in on the weekend, so I figured I'd do this impromptu stream. We're targeting some big, big musky and pike here. This guy's taking my line out. I don't think that's Porthos though. 41 yards, 43 yards, 45 yards, 48 yards. Could it be? Oh my. 60 yards. 67 yards. 72 yards. Man, he's behind the rock now. This is awkward. I'm gonna have to do this now. Hundred and one yards, one hundred and five yards. What's going on here? Is this him? Hundred 
I have to turn the motor on, guys, just because, like, it's just so awkward. I can't believe I'm... <laughs> I had to chase him down. Hundred and ten yards. He how far is this fish going, man? I wonder if I finally got him, man. Alright, I'm gonna stop here. Yeah, Ricky, that I'm definitely gonna do that. I gotta get on that. It's just been so busy. It's hard. I've been trying to get at least three videos out every week, but it's just kinda hard and it's kinda hard to I think I have to get more DLC and stuff, but or just look for more spots. If you guys ever watch a video and you want me to do a specific video, just leave a comment in the videos. Just because it does help me figure out what kind of content people are looking for, especially if you're subscribed to the channel, which I hope everyone hanging out here is, because that would be awesome. Um, but yeah. I wonder what we got on the line here, guys, because it's definitely something that's fighting. Had to chase him down. He's starting to get tired. He's starting to get tired. Oh, there's no way that's Porthos, though. He gets, uh... He gets... Is that him, though? Because that doesn't look like a big fish. Oh, he doesn't even look that big anymore. I don't know what's going on here. I guess time will tell. Melisiani. Yeah, man. Actually, um, I really want to do that. It's just that I'm having internet issues with my upload speed. Holy moly. Um, but yeah, I got... I'm gonna line up a stream where I start streaming where I'm actually fishing with uh, some subscribers. Hopefully I can get that sorted by the end of the month. Yeah, I don't know what this is guys, but as you can see, it's been giving me a crazy fight. It took the line out like over 120 yards. I had to chase him down with the trolling motor. And now I'm here and he won't come in, but he doesn't even look that big. Oh. Oh my god, this fish. This fish is crazy, guys. I'm telling you, man. God, he's just taking the line out.
What do I got on the line here, guys? What is going on? Hey, Brantley. So, in real life, I use, uh... Sorry, man. I'm just laughing because this is ridiculous. I gotta pay attention to what I'm doing here. Because the last thing I want to do is lose whatever is on this line. But yeah, I usually use uh, worms, just live bait from a bobber, or I'll uh, drop shot some uh, some night fake night crawlers, or I use uh, spinners like things like maps or rooster tails or panther martins. Uh, if I'm in a creek, and then I'll use flies. Sometimes I'll attach a fly leader to a spinner. To a spinner and use that. So I use basically three things. Uh, live bait, spinners, and flies. It just depends on the conditions, depending uh, of where I am. But I've had the most luck here with uh, live bait night crawlers. Guys, I'm I'm after following this fish again because this is nuts. How long has this been going on, guys? I'm trying to fight this fish, seriously. Heartbreaking. Oh, after all that work. Oh my gosh. Moment of silence. <laughs> I can't believe I lost that fish. Oh my god, guys. My heart is broken. Oh my god. No, I can't believe that. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> no. God, guys, I'm so sorry. I can't believe I lost them. Dang. Oh, my heart. Oh. That is, uh... I can't believe that. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Alright, guys. Well, been streaming for, uh, I think, uh, almost two hours now. And uh, I'm pretty sure we just had Porthos on the line there, man. Because uh, I've never had a fish that fought like that. Uh, if you guys were watching that, I had to chase him down with the trolling motor. I uh, had the fight of my life there. Unfortunately, I lost him. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, no. The, the, the next time, though, the good thing about it is that I'm pretty sure that that's where he is. You guys, I'll show you. I'll show you what I was uh, using here. Oh, so I was using forty-pound line with this guy right here. The head-on knocker, spook, 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 G finish, and I'm pretty sure that that was Porthos. Unfortunately, I lost him. But now, you guys, if you want to try it out, you can uh, check out this video the stream i'm gonna leave this one up see you later brantley thanks for uh hanging out on the stream uh no worries there buddy take care but uh but yeah man i can't believe i lost that fish
Uh, it's all good though. That's part of fishing. It's part of the game. <laughs> but yeah, man, I'm excited to maybe finally catch this guy, do a video on it. Maybe tomorrow night on the stream, uh, we'll we'll have a go at it again. Um, yeah, no, I agree, Mello. I love I love that top water. But anyway, guys, uh, thank you so much for everyone that came to hang out. We had uh, Brantley too, Ricky Hall, Nolan. We got Hunter, um, Mello, Siani, everyone here hanging out. We had uh, Tyler came by for a bit. We had Jordan Collins come by for a bit. Alexis Sumaki. Uh, yeah, Gunner Horn. You guys are awesome. Really appreciate uh, you guys for uh, checking out the stream. I had a lot of fun. Too bad I lost that fish, but hey, that's life. So anyway, guys. We'll see you tomorrow, okay? I'm going to do a stream tomorrow. Take care.